uh, a very important and momentous occasion with a little bit of an apology by virtue of the fact that um, I don't think you know the leadership of commissioners has got up here to the POM uh, or to the northern parts of Manitoba actually at all. Uh, I've been in the job now 18 months and I got stuck into a little bit of a situation called COVID and we've been sort of managing that ever since. And it, it's such an important part of what we do in terms of our day to day. Um, you know, people think, oh, attention guard work, and that's something that happens outside Winnipeg, and they send, tend to stay a little bit focused on the south. But it's not, it's actually really important, and it, it makes a difference, I think, in communities, it makes a difference in terms of you know, employment. I think it makes a, a significant difference in our partnership with the Royal Canadian Mounted Police. Um, so today, I'm playing catch up, uh, and I have some awards to present um, to some people that I think. People have lots of choice about where they work, uh, and that if when people choose to work uh, with us and, and, and for us, um, certainly I, I'm very much indentured to them for having chosen us, and I and I hope that we live up to expectations. And you know, is it perfect all the time? No, but we try our best, and we can get better every day. Um, so I'm going to make some presentations here this morning, and I'm going to start with not necessarily the smallest and the less important. They're all equally important. <laughs> Um, so I'm going to ask uh, Ms. Elizabeth McLean to come up, please. Elizabeth, it's very much a pleasure to meet you. Thank you so much. I have a couple of things here for you this morning. So 12 years of loyal service to the division, uh, and we're a little bit late in doing this, but uh, better late than never, I suppose. Um, a little bit of a, a token of appreciation. So not only a, a certificate uh, recognizing the long years of service, but also a Commissioner's Long Service Medal. And, um, you know, I, I'm a Naval officer, so, you know, we're not always big on, on medals and, and, and commemorations. It's the work that you do, and I think that speaks more volumes um, for what you've contributed to Commissioner's and to the local community here in the Paw. And a very small token, but a token nonetheless, there's a check attached there as well. Which is really good. <laughs> so, congratulations. Thank you so much. It, it's about 12 years of service. I think it's <laughs> Drop your mask. We'll see who you oh, are. I guess maybe that might help. <laughs> so the next thing, uh, presentation I have is a Miss Mary Hamm. Mary, congratulations. Thank you. It's very nice to meet you. Nice to meet you. Yeah. I'm a little bit of a Mary while she's doing that. This is to recognize 19 years of service. Like 19 years. I spent 23 years in the Navy. And so you've been doing this for, for 19 years. You're much stronger than I am. Um, very similar. This is, I'm playing catch up. And I, and I apologize because this should have been presented a long time ago. Um, I think the story in the past is that, you know, there were commissioners and there were detention guards. And that was one of the things that I tried to change as soon as I came on board was, no, we all work as a team. We, all, we do different jobs, that's what we do, but we're commissioners first. Um, so um, not only a long service medal, which is well deserved, um, but for 19 years you also get uh, a long service bar and rosette as well that goes with that. And a certificate, because it's not an awards presentation but a certificate, and a slightly, slightly bigger check in there as well. So. <laughs> But not least, Miss <laughs> Symphony Desmond. Similar story. I start with an apology because this should have been done a long time ago. Okay. Um, so, again, 19 years of service. People have lots of uh, opportunity to choose to stay with one organization for that period of time. That's a huge investment of time and effort and dedication. I appreciate that. So, long service medal. Uh, as well as a, a bar and rosette, and uh, a very similar size check to, uh, mm -hmm. to Mary. Mm -hmm. there. So, congratulations. Mm -hmm. And you know, 
there's so much opportunity, I think, in, but there's always what people hear and believe and they see through the news, and it only tells really a small part of the story. I think, you know, this is a, a good news story in terms of recognition and commitment and service to your community. It's a very valuable role. And, and it's a service, and it's, I think it's a little bit of a calling. It's more than just a vocation that you do. You, know, you work under probably some really challenging circumstances. You see people at the worst stages of their lives sometimes, you know, because of socioeconomic or mental health or addictions issue, and they're having an intervention with the law, and, I, you know, and you're seeing them through safely and protecting them, and I think that's extremely valuable, and I'm certainly indebted and have a lot of gratitude for that. So. 